Hi there. In this video, you will see the steps in creating a transfer order. If your warehouse has more than one location, you can transfer items between locations. To transfer items from one location to another, you must create a transfer order. Before you can create an order, you must set up an in-transit location and a transfer route, as well as the shipping agents. Watch the how to set up shipping agents video and how to set up transfer routes from the links in the description. The transfer order is an order very similar to a sales order or a purchase order. The transfer order can be created from the transfer from or the transfer to location. The transfer order contains information about the transfer from and the transfer to location and the dates connected to the shipping and receiving of the order. On the transfer order, you must also assign the in transit code that applies while the items are in transit. Search for transfer orders in the top right like so and choose the relevant link. Open a new transfer order and fill in the number field like so. The next step is to fill in the transfer from and transfer to codes. This will populate both fast tabs, thereby removing the manual entry of the location's details. Based off the transfer route between the two locations, the on transit code will populate. An in transit code is a temporary location created for transferring items only. When the order is shipped from the transfer from location, the program assigns the items an in transit code. When the order is received at the transfer to location, the program moves the items from the in transit code to the transfer to location. You can then tag the two global dimensions against this transaction if need be, in this case, department and project code. Next, you just have to populate the lines tables with the inventory to be transferred. Importantly, each line can have its own quantity to ship and receive, creating multiple shipments and receipts. The next steps depend on whether or not the warehouse is involved in this transfer incorporate any of the warehouse processes. For an introduction to the warehouse processes, click on the link within the description. First, the inventory would be picked from bins and placed ready for shipment. Both videos are within the description, so we will just post ship today. The inventory is now on its way to the other warehouse and the shipment date is automatically calculated from the working date in the system, while the receipt date takes into account the shipping agent service against the shipment date. This will result in the second warehouse having a warehouse receipt populate on their roll centre. They can then account for the quantity received and post the receipt, which applies to the putaways. From these putaways, the allocation of inventory to specific bins or generic bins is made clear. Lastly, they post a transfer order to complete the process. If you have any questions while using Financials for Office 365, you can click on the question mark for a window-specific help page. If you want help with a field, click on the caption. Or for a column, click on the heading and select Helped, like so. And that's how you use the transfer order.